Hello folks, Catherine and I are out exploring again. It is the Holy Sabbath, Saturday the 16th of May, 2020. And we have just come out to this place. I can't remember what the actual lock is called, but the oh yeah, Lock Urn, right, is the name of the lock. But the village near here is Lock Urn Head. So anyways, this is a beautiful place. It's been dark. You're probably tired of me saying this, but the whole drive here was quite dark. And just as we were pulling up here, the light burst out. And there was no place to turn out until just before we got here. And we found a perfect little turnout. But look at this. The light is just about to drop behind the mountains um, to the left of where I'm standing right now. So it's another beautiful place, first time that either one of us have ever been here. And once again, we're the only ones out here. And something I want to say, I want to mark this day. Again, today is the 16th of May, 2020. And it was exactly eight years ago today that Catherine and I left our really nice Masonette in Lewis, East Sussex. It's when our rent officially ran out and we had given a month's notice and we departed on this day and it's when we officially began our nomadic travels. So literally as of today we have lived nomadically for a full eight years. The last seven of which we have been house sitting and again it's fitting that our very last house sit came to a close. Um, right after April 30th, which was the um, our seventh year anniversary of house sitting. So we did a full seven years of house sitting, uh, 52 weeks a year, and as of today we have been living nomadically uh, for exactly eight years. So that's quite a quite a milestone. Over a hundred different beds. Yeah, <laughs> over a hundred different beds, mm -hmm. Catherine said. Um, Right, okay. Catherine's filling my left ear with stats. So the longest place that she says that we have stayed anywhere was seven and a half months. Look at that beautiful emerald green cluster of trees in the light. The longest place that we were was seven and a half months, which was in Borgo, Spain, and that was the first year that we were traveling um, prior to our doing house sitting prior to our house sitting but once again I want to honor the Father in Jesus Christ's mighty name I'm so grateful that he brought us out here this evening we kind of just headed out in a different direction than we had done previously last week or at any time since we arrived in Scotland and I'm really happy that we ended up coming here this is our sort of final destination, this lock before turning back home. And if I point up there, you can maybe see the sun is just about to drop below the, the hills. But how beautiful that it has come out and just spotlighted various par parts of this lake. It's really nice. Really nice. And look. Look up here, you can hear the bird song as well. The birds are happy to get the light because it has not been light. It's been a really dark afternoon, dark evening. We didn't really expect to see any bursts of sunlight, but here we are, God delivering once again. We have such a loving Father. We want to we wanna lift Him up. We want to praise Him and glorify Him on this day of holy rest, the holy Sabbath. And I have to say, it just seems like just a few days ago that we were in the Trossachs last Saturday. And here we are in another part, <clears throat> another part of the area. Really incredible. We're grateful, really, really grateful to be here, folks. Really grateful to be in Scotland. We've been wanting to come back here, as I've said before, ever since we left in 2013. 
it makes such a nice change from being the parts of England, don't get me wrong, that are beautiful. Parts of England that are definitely beautiful, and I have, England has always been a place that I have had fondness in my heart for. Um, I have a 30-year relationship, slightly over 30-year relationship of coming and spending a lot of time in England. I've been living here full-time for 20, sorry, 15 years after I did my second master's degree program in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I came to Britain. That was in August 2005. And I have been living in Britain slash Europe ever since. Um, but prior to that, I spent a lot of time in England as well. But it's so good to be up in Scotland, someplace different. There are parts of England that we love. We love the northern coast of, um, of Cornwall. Yeah, the sort of, there's a nice little place outside of Tintagel called Trineau that we house sat in that we really liked. It's got beautiful, beautiful cliffs going down to the sea. So that northern part of Cornwall is beautiful. We've also house sat for a winter, early spring um, part in the southern part of Cornwall. That was also quite nice, but we prefer the the um, northern shore. And there are other places like um, the Cotswolds that are beautiful. There are parts of Wales that we've been in that have been beautiful as well. So there's definitely nice places in England. There's the Lake District, which we always enjoy. But it's really good to be up here and all these, all these many, many lochs to go and explore, all these hills and mountainous roads. And we haven't even gotten out to the West Highlands yet, which I'm really looking forward to going out and exploring. God willing, we will get out to the West Highlands. Yeah, and right up here you can see, um, I don't know if you'll actually be able to see it, but at the top of these hills you can see patches of snow, despite it being May 16th. And that's quite common in all these hills that we drive around. At the uppermost peaks, you can see patches of snow. Anyways, folks, we just wanted to get out of the car and stretch our bones. Um, take a look at this lock, get our feet on the ground. Take advantage of this beautiful sunlight. And also commemorate today being the eighth day of our, sorry, the, the um, marking of our eight year anniversary living nomadically and it's been such an incredible time. God has blessed us throughout those eight years. We have lived all over the UK, we've lived all over Europe, spent a glorious summer in Berlin, summer of 2014 for three months, had an absolutely amazing time living in Berlin, getting to experience cycling all over the city into the Tiergarten, to the Brandenburg Gate. We used to cycle and walk all over the place. That was amazing. Spending five and a half months on the Greek island of Ithaca, um, famed for, it's the sort of place that Odysseus is meant to have been king. Um, so steeped in mythological lore and going down to Athens drive. We drove all over the mainland Greece up in the Panhandle around Thessaloniki and Alexandripoli. We spent about six weeks in different parts of Bulgaria. We drove all over that country, east, west, north, south. Lived in a couple of different places, two or three different places actually. Um, we've lived in Slovenia. We lived in Austria for a summer. We've lived in Italy, we lived in Tuscany for a spring. We traveled up and down Italy, spent a lot of time in Italy on a two or three occasions. And um, 
again in Borgo, Spain. We lived all over France. We drove through Belgium, the Netherlands, um, Hungary, Romania, just all over the place. It's been amazing. Our cup runneth over. It's been an amazing experience doing what we have done for these eight years. And we have been so grateful for everything that our loving Father has done for us. And perhaps the most amazing thing is that we were not even in Christ when we embarked upon our nomadic travels. But it's through stepping out in faith, it's no accident, it's through stepping out in faith, really stepping out in faith with very little, and just trusting that all would be well, in one way or another we would make things happen, that God began to show himself and it's been an amazing journey. Right from that very first summer, when we were spending the eight weeks, two months, on a campsite in Vichy, shortly after we embarked upon our travels in the summer of 2012, I picked up the King James Bible, I actually downloaded it to my iPhone, and I had read key books of the King James Bible when I was in my first graduate theology classics and I had read the Gospels but I went back to the Gospel of Matthew and I sat poolside and I just read through the book of Matthew again and where I had not been reading it in faith in graduate school I was reading it more from a philosopher point of view um, when I read it in Vichy it made me feel clean. It was a little bit like doing a yoga class. And I used to be a yoga practitioner. I used to earn my living teaching mindful living, mindfulness meditation, creative writing, creativity, generally speaking, philosophy, literature. Um, but it made me feel clean and I realized that reading the book of Matthew that time made a real impact on me. And it continued to impact me as I went into the autumn living in Borgos that following autumn and I read the book of Matthew again again it made a big impact on me and just over the course of time um, God continued to draw both Catherine and me to him finally he helped us to hear the gospel and we know that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God and so we finally heard the true faith-based gospel, the everlasting gospel of Jesus Christ, and we knew straight away that's what we needed to do. And there's been no stopping ever since. We've been scouring the Word of God, studying God's Holy Word, really researching the Christian landscape, realizing that so much of the Christian landscape is false Christianity. I had strongly suspected that my whole life, having grown up in the Episcopalian Church, which is the U.S. equivalent of the Church of England, having been confirmed as a 12-year-old boy. Um, but it's been an amazing journey, folks, and I want to thank you all for all of your support and for being with us here today and helping us to celebrate and to commemorate eight years of living on the road all around the UK and Europe. Uh, such a blessing. And we owe it all to our loving Father in Jesus Christ's mighty name. And we thank you for joining us here today. And we thank you for all of your support of the On Fire for God Today community and ministry. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would be really helpful. And if you haven't done so all already, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And thank you so much, folks, and may God bless you all. Amen.